All right, just gonna do a video showing three different ways about how the Norse heathen god Thor is actually a counterfeit of Jehovah. That's simple. So here, here's the first example. So first of all, the, the obvious well-known fact about the god Thor is that he's a, a god of thunder and lightning. Well, here's how he counterfeit, here's one way how he counterfeits Jehovah. First of all, the fact is that God the Father's voice is like thunder. John chapter 12, verse 27 to 29. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this cause came I unto this hour. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven, saying, I have will glorify it, and will glorify it again. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard it, said that it thundered. Others said an angel spake to him. So, the God, God the Father's voice, speaking to Jesus Christ, his son, uh, which is kind of funny because Thor is the son of the Norse god Odin, so you have another counterfeit there, the fact that there is Odin, which is a counterfeit, you could say, of God the Father, and Thor is his son. So you got, you know, a whole counterfeit of the Father-Son thing there as well. But uh, the fact is, is that God the Father's voice is like thunder, just like how Thor is supposedly a god of thunder. So that's one way he rips off and counterfeits uh, Jehovah. Job chapter 37, verse 45. Another scripture on God the Father's voice being like thunder. Job 37, verse 4 to 5. After it, a voice roareth, he thundereth with the voice of his excellency, and he will not stay them, he will not stay them when his voice is heard. God thundereth, God thundereth marvelously with his voice, uh, great things doeth he which we cannot comprehend. You know, he thunders his voice, it's like thunder. That's what it's like in them too. So like I said, that's one way how the Norse deity Thor rips off God the Father, Jehovah God. Next point is that is that Thor, obviously, like I said, is a god of lightning. Well, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, in his glorified body, has the appearance of lightning. Daniel chapter 10, verse 5 to 6. Daniel 10, verse 5 to 6. Then I lifted up mine eyes, and looked, and behold, a certain man, clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and feet, and his feet like in the color of polished, colored of polished brass, polished brass, sorry, not good at reading on a computer, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. This thundering voice and the appearance of, of lightning. You know, so there you got, again, another example of Thor ripping off the Godhead, basically. The, the God of lightning ripping off the Godhead who obviously created lightning. Because that's one thing about that would separate heathenism from uh, the biblical faith of Jesus Christ is that God is a God of everything, which what all these other faith, all these other heathen religions have to have a God of the river, the God of this, the God of that, you know. Meanwhile, Jehovah, the Godhead, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they're the God of everything. They create everything. But last point is that you know how Thor carries around a hammer as his weapon. Well, the word of God is described as being a hammer. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29. Jeremiah 23, 29. Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? So, the word of God, which is also likened unto a double-edged sword in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, is like a hammer. It's likened unto a hammer in this verse. Just like how Thor uses the hammer to as his weapon of choice. See, with the with Bible-believing saints, our weapon is the Word of God. Our sword is the Word of God. But with Thor, his weapon is a hammer. See, our hammer is the Word of God, but Thor, his hammer is a counterfeit of the Word of God, his hammer that shoots out lightning, basically. So, just three different examples of how Thor, the Norse deity Thor, is a ripoff and, and cheap counterfeit of God the Father, the Godhead, Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. That simple. The Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.